Hey, this is Andrew Brown, and this fall along, we're gonna take a look at wikis. And so I figured what we can do is go to our um, organization and we'll go over into our fun repo and we'll turn that feature on by going to settings. And wiki apparently is already turned on. I don't remember turning it on, but hey, it's on. Maybe it's on by default. And we'll go ahead and create our first new page. And this is our home page, so it's just as simple as creating it. And we want to create an, another page. This one is gonna be called About. And I want to link this one to our homepage. And so it'll be as simple as putting square braces, parentheses, and we'll say homepage. And I think the other one is called home page. So as long as that is correct, that should work. Um, it doesn't look like it linked. So maybe it's just called home. So I'll try that again. And we'll edit this page. And we'll save it. There we go, and that links back there, and so we can see they're both there. There's some way to provide structure underneath. I'm not sure if that just uses headings. We're gonna go ahead and try this and just say heading one, heading two, and you know, wikis here are not that great. Um, like, I remember wikis all the way back in 2005, and yeah, there it's providing that structure. And you know, they would allow you to basically just start writing links and when you click through, they create them. So definitely not a new concept. Um, this one's not that great, but it is here and it is free. So you can decide whether you wanna use it. Most providers will have some kind of knowledge base thing and that is GitHub's kind of offering. But again, I don't think a lot of companies like to use this. And I've seen a lot of organizations start on here and then abandon it and just take it off of GitHub, but uh, it is a thing and they want us to cover it. So there you go.